So 4.7a is titled Sketching Quadratic Inequalities, and um, we only have one lesson goal for today. Well, that's basically the title. By the end of this lesson, we should be able to sketch any quadratic inequality I give you. Um, now, the last time we did sketching inequalities, it was in Unit 2, I want to say. Unit 2, yes, when we did lines. And we did linear inequalities. And there were some basic ideas about two-dimensional inequalities that we covered in that unit. So let's refresh our memories. Number one, um, there are two types of boundary lines. When you sketch an inequality, you're either going to sketch with a solid line, and it would be a solid line if your inequality has the or equal to component, or in other words, if your inequality has that little line underneath it, or you had a dotted or a dashed line. These curves uh, were uh, with inequalities that were strictly less than or strictly greater than. Um, the other thing that we need to remember when we sketch inequalities is that this involves some sort of shading. So this is different than uh, 4.1 and 4.2 where we just sketched equations. Uh, once we drew the line, that was it. That was our answer. That was our graph. But with inequalities, you're, either, you're always going to be shading some part of the coordinate system. Um, so the idea that we need to remember is that um, where we shade depends on the inequality. We shade above the curve if we have a greater than symbol, right? Either uh, greater than or less than, or greater than or equal to, or strictly greater than, doesn't matter. And we shade below the curve if the inequality is the other way. That's basically it. Uh, this lesson is, is really a culmination of uh, all the things we've learned in the past. Uh, we have to remember how to sketch quadratics in general. That was 4.1 and 4.2, I believe. Um, and then we have to remember these little tidbits about inequalities. Um, the, inequal the quadratic inequalities I'm going to give you are, I'm just going to only give you two forms, the um, standard form and the vertex form. So let's just do a couple of examples of each. Suppose I ask you to sketch uh, f of x equals, um, or rather f of x is greater than, because it's an inequality, f of x is greater than negative 2x squares plus 12x's minus 14. So we have to remember how to sketch in standard form. Now in standard form, or in general, in sketching requires a table of values, an xy table, and I always tell you guys to start the vertex. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the x coordinate of the vertex, which can always be found with the formula negative b over 2a. So in this particular example, we have negative 12 over 2 times negative 2, which gives us a negative 12 over negative 4, which is a positive 3. So I know that when I start my xy table, I'm going to start at a 3, and then I'm going to choose x values that are close to 3, say 4 and 5. So then all I have to do is take these values and plug them into the original function, right? So I'm going to fast forward through this, but all it is is just plug and chug. So if you plug in a 3, you're going to get a 4. If you plug in a 4, you're going to get a 2. If you plug in a 5, you're going to get a, what's that, negative 50, 60, so it's ten, so negative four. Okay. So then all you got to do is plot it now, right? So that this should be like a redo, a rehash of four point one. So again, if you don't know how to sketch quadratics or if you forgot, I suggest we review that lesson here. So let's go ahead and plot these points. So 3 comma 4, 4 comma 2, 5 comma negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4 right there. Now the idea again, 
through the vertex, there's this imaginary axis of symmetry, this, axis, this mirror. So the other points would be mirror reflections of it. So I would have from this guy a mirror reflection point here, and from this guy a mirror reflection from there. I'm going to go ahead and erase all my helper lines. Oops, I don't want to do that. There we go. Let's erase the asymptote. So this point here. Okay. And then you connect the dots. But remember, this is an inequality, so we have two types of lines, solids or dashed. Since the inequality is strictly uh, greater than, it's going to be a dashed or a dotted line. So when you connect the dots, just make it very obvious to me that it's dotted. So that's one difference with inequalities. The other difference is shading. And all it is is just where uh, what is the inequality. So I hope you can read that in the inequality says greater than. So when y values are greater than, they go up. So it's as if you put your pencil anywhere on the function. So I'm going to put my pencil here. It's, it's this highlight here. And then all I'm going to do is shade up. Anywhere on the graph, just go straight up. That, hopefully, you can see, that tells us that we need to shade on the outside of the function. So there is our answer, right? All of this guy here is the solution set of this inequality. Obviously, you'll do it a lot cleaner and nicer than I am. I'm just scribbling uh, for the sake of time. But there we go. That's it. That really doesn't get any more complicated than that. It's just merging two ideas together. Can you sketch quadratics? And then can you remember your shading rules? Let's just do one more uh, example of standard form. I'll do this a lot faster uh, than the first example because, again, you should be getting the hang of it. Suppose I ask you to sketch f of x is less than or equal to 2x squares minus 4x minus 2. So the, I see it's in standard form. So the first thing I need to find is the x coordinate of the vertex which is at negative b over 2a. So negative negative 4 over 2 times 2 gives me a 1. So when, my, when I make my xy table, I'm going to start at 1 and just plug in numbers that are close to it, say 2 and 3. Go ahead and just plug the x values into the function. I'm going to fast forward through it because, again, it's just plug and chug. If I were to plug in a 1, I'm going to get a negative 4. If I plug in a 2, I'm going to get a negative 2. If I plug in a 3, I'm going to get a 4 here. So then I go ahead and plot them on a coordinate system. All right, so the vertex is at 1, negative 4. Next point is 2, negative 2, 3, 4. Of course, you got to mirror image the points, so I'll go ahead and mirror image this point, mirror image that point. What type of line do I have? Uh, the inequality is or equals to, so it'll be a solid line. So just connect the dots with a solid line, make a little curve here. And where am I going to shade? Since the inequality says less than, that means at any point on the graph, let's say this point here, I since it's less than, I go straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Hopefully you can see that we're supposed to shade the outside of the parabola. There you go. It's just sheer coincidence that both examples are um, shaded in the outside. Sometimes you might have to shade in the inside. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do one example. Let me find an example where shading on the inside here. Oh, this is a good one. Um, and it's in vertex form here. So let's do a vertex form example. Suppose I ask you to sketch f of x is less than or equal to negative 4 times the quantity x minus 2 um, squared plus 3. So in, since it's vertex form, I don't have to do any fancy formulas to find the vertex. I immediately know the vertex is going to be opposite of this number 2, comma, 
whatever this number is, three, it's two comma three. So when I make my XY table, I know I have to start at two, and then let's pick, oh, I don't know, three and four. So plugging in these numbers, I already know at two it should be three. If I were to plug in a three, that's a, let's see here, one squared, negative four, that's a negative one. And if I were to plug in a four, that's a two, uh, four, negative 16, negative 13. I probably will not plot that one because that's a really, really big number. So I'll go ahead and just plot the first two. It's not gonna be the best looking graph, uh, but it should get the point across. So go ahead and make your tick marks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna hit that negative 13. So the vertex is at two, three, three, negative one, all right? So in this case, I mean, it's a pretty wimpy graph, but this is this right here is the only point I can mirror image, so it's gonna be over here. Look at the inequality. Since it's or equals to, it's going to be a solid line. So I'm going to do a solid line here, solid line there. And since it is a less than, that means that whatever point I pick, I go straight down. So if I pick this point, you go straight down. Pick this point, go straight down. Pick this point, straight down, straight down. I hope everyone can see that I'm supposed to shade on the inside. So that would be the graph of that inequality. So 4.7a, very, very simple, uh, I hope, idea. Um, you only have one lesson objective, and that is given a quadratic inequality, can you sketch it? You need to know how to sketch quadratic equations to begin with, and you need to remember these, uh, these inequality uh, rules. So good luck, give it a shot, and uh, let me ask me questions if you have any.